Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. I have got the hugest Michaels haul for you guys today. <clears throat> Excuse me. Not only did I go crazy um, and get a whole ton of strung beads, which you'll see beside me over here. Don't want to give them away too soon. But I also went to the planner section. My dad went crazy, he got me a bunch of findings, tools, and charms. So originally I was planning on doing this all in one video, but now I realize it would be like an hour long video. Um, so if you hear me say in the video that I'm gonna get on to the strung beads, I'm just letting you know now, uh, the strung beads are gonna be done in a separate video. Um, because it ended up taking 20 minutes just to show you guys the stuff I have here in front of me. So anyway, without further ado, let us jump into the haul and check back tomorrow for my awesomely huge strung bead haul. Hey okay, guys, so I think first what I'm going to do is go through the few scrapbooking supplies that I picked up. So actually, I'm going to... Oh no, wait, that was new. So um, the planner... And these two things I showed you guys in my last um, Michaels haul, so I'm not going to show you guys that again, but I just have them here, uh, not only for display, but to show you um, what the, these are going to go with that. So I'm just really quickly going to show you um, the few planning supplies that I got, and then I am going to jump into the beading stuff because you guys, not only did I get some charms and tools, but... I got over 50 strands of beads. It might be exactly 50, so cannot wait to show you guys that. So anyway, um, I did get this. So this is the 97 piece um, contents on the back. So that's what it is, no, just kidding. So this is the Recollections 12 month calendar pack. Um, so you know what, I'm pretty dense. I actually didn't check um, which years. Um, this has, or if it even uh, matters what year it is, um, but basically it has 12 month tab dividers and yeah, and honestly, um, I would have obviously preferred one with unicorns and stuff, um, but they only had like four to choose from and the other ones were like orange and navy blue or black. So, I mean, at least this one's pink and mint, which I love, right? So I did get that and I got 50% off that. I'm going to show you guys um, my bills in a second because the manager, you don't know what she did for me. She gave us like over 15 items, 50% off. It was crazy. Um, so I got these as well. So these are the sticky notes for the planner accessories and I cannot wait to use those. And then after I saw this, because I did see an awesome um, mint tealish colored um, hole punch in that section and it looks like it punches holes exactly like this that would fit in that book. So I realized, wait a second, I could make my own dividers out of cardstock and I have so much pretty cardstock so I'm gonna do that as well. So I did get these sticky notes, which are so gorgeous. And if you guys are just here for the beads, by the way, you can skip ahead. Um, I will try to leave a time index in the bottom, but it shouldn't be too long. Um, anyway, so my dad got me this, and I didn't even know he was getting it for me. So this is a planner charm, which I'm going to be making my own planner charms. But I will definitely hang that on there because it's pink and it's from my daddy. So then I got a few things to send my friend Nat in Australia. So if you guys don't know Nat, she is Nat from Nat's um, Art and Craft Creations. And she is a fellow YouTuber. She's a huge supporter of my channel and she is my awesome YouTube buddy. So we've been doing friend mail with each other and she actually ended up being one of the winners of my last giveaway. So I did get this for her. These are regular $29 in Canada. So that's 30 bucks and they were on sale, you guys, for $10. So I am not a big um, scrapbooker or planner myself. Um, I have made a couple scrapbooks in the past. I'm working on a wedding scrapbook and I do make cards. Um, so I wouldn't have bought one for myself, but I knew she wanted one. My sister bought like 13 or 15 of them. Um, and when I got there, if you guys can believe it, the whole thing was empty. There was none left. And then I found two sitting on a shelf underneath. So I did get these for Nat and some of them are really pretty. Look at that. They have the gold foiling. 
and it just comes with so many don't quit your dream um yeah really beautiful so i'll let her do a flip through of that on her channel just I've got such a big haul today so i also picked this up for her so this is one of the washi tubes that i had showed in my washi aisle tour and it is just so gorgeous love the color themes love the way turquoise and purple look together and then they've even thrown in a green and a blue and a gold and they just all work so well together it's got cactuses it's got beautiful diamonds it's got foil and it's got unicorns so what more do you want right just gorgeous and then these which are regular $5.99 I ended up getting 50 off so I got these for $2.50 um, so yeah, this is just like another one with text on it and it's got the gold foiling and so I just thought she'd love that so I picked that up for her too. So then I also had a coupon for Recollections 40% off. So I did pick up these mint flowers which I had seen the last time at Michael's which I absolutely adored and I just thought those were so, so cute. Aren't these beautiful? Not cute, gorgeous, I should say. Like, just look at these, you guys. Oh my goodness, right? So they've got like the fake snow or frost on them and they are just gorgeous. So what I'm gonna do, you can see, I've been cleaning out my um, usual space where I do my videos. And um, what I'm gonna do is make a really, really nice um, backdrop for my videos and I'm gonna use these roses for that. So I think that that is gonna be awesome. So, now here's what I want to explain to you guys. So, the charms and findings were not on sale. The beads were on sale. That's why I got so many. That was just a quick flash because I don't want to give it away too soon. But, so you're not going to believe this. So, I bought half the beads for myself. My dad bought me the other half of the beads. I bought this for myself. I bought the E6000. Okay. Now, I had a coupon to get one item 50% off one item so because my dad is such a nice guy and every time we go in there he talks with the manager and he's so nice with her and he's nice with everyone and so am I so you're not going to believe it him and her while I was picking out my beads went around the jewelry section they picked out a bunch of stuff every single thing that you see in front of you here including this not the wire Every single thing that you see here, sorry, except one of these, she gave my dad for 50 off. So his whole, half of his entire bill, everything was 50 off. So I don't have his bill because um, he paid by either debit or credit card, so I wasn't gonna take that from him. But I'll just show you that she cashed me out as well. And she didn't have to give me 50 off everything because I was already getting 80 off. But I'll just show you. Here is my coupon for the one fifty percent off item. She gave me 50 off this. 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 So she gave me 50 off like everything that wasn't beads, okay? So there was actually though two mistakes made here. So I went back the next day to correct that because I had actually said to her, um, let me know if anything that's not on sale rings up. Um, and I also got a 20% discount um, on top of the 60% off sale that they were already having. So um, that was another 15 bucks off. Um, but anyway, I thought that the bill was like about 20 or $30 too high. And it turned out that two regular price beads went through. So I did return those ones the next day. And I will be returning these ones as well. And these are these ones right here. And you'll see the reason they slipped through is because they are so similar to these, I didn't realize that they were brown tag. So really, if she was on top of everything, she should have said, oh, wait, these aren't on sale, and I wouldn't have got them. But anyway, so I returned these two the next day, and I will be returning that one as well. But anyway, that's just to show you like what an amazing deal we got. So anyway, this is gonna be a long video, by the way, you guys. So, to the beading stuff. Okay, so you guys already saw this. So he got me a pack of gold clasps. 
he got me two packs of gold jump rings, which I really needed large gold jump rings, but I wouldn't buy these. And he knew he was there when I was looking at these and I wouldn't buy them because they didn't come with enough big ones and they weren't on sale and I wasn't willing to pay $4.99 for just the few big ones when I already have a ton of small ones. So I've actually been making my own jump rings with wire lately, but I just thought it would have been nice to, you know, buy some gold ones, um, some more big gold ones, because I really need some. Um, but anyway, I wouldn't, so he got me the two packs, and he got them 50 off. So then, charms, which I don't usually buy at Michael's, he got me this bee charm 50 off. So I don't even know what that regularly sells for. Um, but isn't that so adorable? So then he also got me this owl charm. You guys, isn't it the cutest? I so love it. So now I'm like obsessing over unicorns, but before um, it was owls. So I used to really, really love owls, owl necklaces, owl earrings, owl everything. Now I'm like going more into unicorn and mermaid style. But because of the colors of this owl remind me of mermaids and unicorns. So I still really like this owl. And because of the fact that I liked owls. Um, so that was also 50 off. So then you're not going to believe these two. Oh my gosh, you guys. So my son was born in December. So look what he picked out. And this is a Swarovski. So I have no idea what this goes for. But he got this 50 off too. So, like, you, his entire bill, like, you guys saw what, what my bill, how the top of my bill was these 50 off things and then everything else. His entire bill was just discount 50, discount 50, discount. It, it was insane. So, obviously, we're not going to be making any returns off that bill. <laughs> but, anyway, so this has the gorgeous um, Swarovski crystal um, on this bezel. And uh, then it has the little December charm. So I think I'm going to make myself a necklace out of that. Possibly a charm bracelet. Um, really think I'm going to disconnect it from that clasp though. But oh wow. So look. So apparently even the back of this has a little um, charm on it. Let's see. Oh it does. Oh my gosh you guys this is precious. So this just means so much to me because it was my son's birthday, uh, birth month and everything so I can't wait to make something with that and that's just so sweet. And this by the way this is also um, my son's birth month in this ring right here and it says mom. So yeah. I love my son. <laughs> so um, here is another owl thing because like I told you, I used to like love owls. So he still knows that. It always takes my parents like a while to realize that I'm into something new. My mom, it takes even longer. Like it can take her years. Like I stopped liking purple like 10 years ago and literally she was still buying me purple up until two years ago. And then when she finally started buying me mint stuff, uh, or pink stuff, which I was liking at the time, then I changed to mint. And so now she's been buying me all pink stuff. And I'm like, oh God. So anyway, um, here is this owl and it is so gorgeous. Now I don't have any floating charms that I know of. What I do have are the little nail art um, charms from eBay, like see this star? And I've seen them advertised as floating charms. So I'm gonna attempt to use some of those in there and see how that works out. Um, but I just think this is so, so gorgeous. And again, I have no idea how much this goes for, but it is just gorgeous. So I'm gonna be making a piece with that. Um, either to sell or possibly as a Christmas gift. So he got me these as well. Um, this heart is just gorgeous. And then that bead there is really pretty as well. I love this charm here. And then it has the little heart charm. And then the neat thing is that these charms are all attached to like the little um, rings or bales or whatever you wanna call them. So I thought that was pretty cool. So then he also picked out this set and it is like a nautical theme 
You guys can tell I didn't pick this stuff out, right? <laughs> so then he also got these ones, which I see there a lot. And it's got the different um, tags, love, faith, destiny, believe, hope, play. So those can definitely be used on a lot of different pieces. So then he knew this was my color, so he also got me this. So it is basically a pre-made bracelet. All it needs is like a clasp and a jump ring. And then I think I'm gonna add some charms onto it just to dress it up a bit and make it my own. And then this he also got me with is a charm bracelet with Swarovski crystals. So I haven't actually looked closely enough to see them. Okay, so there we go. Okay, so the, the Swarovski crystal is on the clasp. Look at that, you guys. Isn't that gorgeous? So I could even put that on something else if I wanted to and switch clasps. Or I could leave it on there, but that is just gorgeous. I have honestly, I have not seen a clasp like that before. Um, so yeah, that is beautiful, love that. So then, remember last week um, in my last haul, I got, well actually I just uploaded that haul on Monday, but um, I got one of these. Well, somehow the tip went missing while I was using it. Like I literally drilled a hole, it worked absolutely perfectly. Then I went to drill, this, I blew the blew the stuff out that happens when you drill, went to go drill my next piece, and the tip was gone, the drill bit. And I was like, what the heck? And it literally disappeared. It wasn't on the floor. I never heard anything drop. And literally, I can hear a 4mm jump ring drop on my floor. So it was just crazy. Um, I still need to buy a little vacuum, guys. My entire house is hardwood floors, so I bought this rug, and I'm actually going back to Walmart today. Actually, I got a huge Walmart haul to show you guys, too. Got some really, really wicked um, mint storage. I'm not going to turn around and show you, though, because my room's a mess. But um, anyway, so I did get two more of these because it just totally disappeared. So I got one, and then my dad picked me up another one. And then he also got me this knotting tool which I don't even know how to use. And I've never used a knotting tool before, but I'm hoping it can help me um, because finishing off, um, tying off beaded necklaces was one of the most annoying parts for me. So you guys can scan that there if you wanna get more information on this product. And yeah, so that'll be neat to try. So then I also did pick up some E6000 because I'm not totally out of it, but I do have less than half a tube left. And then I found these, which I hadn't seen these before. And I was really happy because if you remember last week, I was able to get the chain jump rings in different sizes, but I wasn't able to find them in the gold in the smaller size. So I'm, and in the, or in the medium size, I should say. So I'm really happy that now I have found them uh, in the medium size. I've never seen this pack before. So. This is the other uh, tool, the one that I got for myself. And you guys, by the way, it works amazing. I was able to drill holes in resin pieces. I was able to make the most gorgeous earrings. I'm going to be doing a project share. So it, I can't recommend that tool enough. So then my dad also got me these, which he didn't even know what they were. Like I said, he was going around with the woman and... Um, you know, he knew some of the stuff I already had. She knew some of the stuff I already had. Um, so then he got me these. So I love them because they're mint. I have a bead reamer from Walmart. It was a really good price and it sucks. I hate it. It didn't work at all. It took me 20 minutes just to make a bigger hole in one bead. And the next time I used it, it like wasn't even working. So I never used it again. So hopefully these will be better. Um, willing to give them a try and of course love them because they're mint. So before we get on to the strands, the last but not least, I got this 20 gauge wire. Um, next time I go, I'm actually going to see if they have any of the thicker gauge in the colored wire because now I've seen um, online that uh, Bead Landing and some of the other companies they have at Michael's actually do sell colored wire. 
Um, so I'm going to go back and look for that. But anyway, I got this pink wire and I'm going to make some jump rings out of it. So we are already at 18 minutes, guys, and we haven't even got into the strung beads yet. So I'm going to organize this stuff and I will be right back with the rest of the haul. So as I explained in the beginning, ladies, we didn't have enough time for the strung beads today. I mean, not many of us have a time to watch an hour long haul video. Well, maybe some of us do, but anyway, so check back tomorrow when I will be uploading my awesomely amazing strung bead haul, which I'm about to film right now. And yeah, I hope you liked everything for today. Don't forget, I've got a giveaway going on on my channel, so make sure you click the link below so that you can go and enter that and win a beautiful unicorn necklace or star or moon pendant necklace. As always, don't forget to like the channel to show your support. Make sure you're subscribed, and I will see you ladies next time. Bye for now, Miss Eddie Blue.